everybody. Could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. Researchers in Switzerland have captured the first image showing the dual nature of light. Light can behave as either a wave or a stream of particles. Both of these behaviors have been experimentally verified, but separately. Quantum mechanics holds that light can behave as a wave and a particle simultaneously, but until now, this dual behavior has never been directly observed. The researchers at EPFL, the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology in Lausanne, accomplished this by utilizing an ingenious new method of photographing light. First, a laser was fired at a nanowire. The laser light moved along the wire like a wave. At the same time, researchers also fired a stream of electrons close alongside the wire. As the electrons passed by, they interacted with the photons on the nanowire, either speeding up or slowing down. The experiment was observed using a high-speed microscope, which recorded the light wave as well as these changes in speed, which indicated interaction between individual photons and electrons. This study is published in the journal Nature Communications. Next up, more good news from the quantum realm. Scientists in California have built a tiny device that is being called a major milestone in the ongoing development of quantum computers. One of the difficulties in building quantum computers is the inherent unreliability of quantum bits or qubits. Unlike conventional computer bits, which can have one of two values, qubits exist in a superposition of all possible values. This property is what gives quantum computing its potentially revolutionary speed and precision, but it also leaves qubits extremely prone to error. But a team of quantum physicists at UC Santa Barbara have made significant progress toward a solution to that problem. The team constructed this tiny device, which allows information to be stored not in single qubits, but across multiple qubits. The device holds a system of nine qubits, which are able to detect and correct for any changes in the originally stored data. The device is proven to be effective at correcting what are called bit flip errors. The researchers are now working on a way of correcting a related error called a phase flip. This research is published in the journal Nature, and the UC Santa Barbara team has partnered with Google in an effort to build a quantum computer. Finally, we shift from pushing the boundaries of quantum computing to exploring the frontiers of our solar system. NASA's Dawn spacecraft has entered orbit around dwarf planet Ceres. Ceres orbits the Sun between Mars and Jupiter. It's the largest object in the asteroid belt, the only asteroid belt object large enough to exhibit hydrostatic equilibrium, the state which gives planets their spheroid shape and distinguishes dwarf planets from asteroids, comets, and other small solar system bodies. The Dawn spacecraft entered orbit around Ceres last week and is scheduled to study the dwarf planet from progressively closer orbits until early next year. In addition to becoming the first spacecraft to orbit a dwarf planet, Dawn, which was launched in 2007, is now also the first spacecraft to orbit two extraterrestrial objects. In 2011 and 2012, Dawn orbited the asteroid Vesta, the second largest object in the asteroid belt. When its primary mission is completed in 2016, Dawn will become a perpetual satellite of Ceres, remaining in orbit around the dwarf planet probably for centuries. Researchers snap an image of the dual nature of light. Scientists build the first quantum computing device capable of error correction. And NASA's Dawn becomes the first spacecraft ever to orbit a dwarf planet. That's the good news. I oh, know. How would you like to be the first cat in space? <laughs>